finally it seems summer has arrived in North Wales. So now we're blessed with long, warm, windless days, we start making some serious progress on Melody. In this episode, we continue working on the cockpit seats, and Melissa starts removing the old nav instruments from the pilot house. And looking forward to next week, we have a visit from our friend Tim from season one of Sailing Melody, and make preparations for the mast to come down at last. Today, I've just popped here after work. Um, Jack's away this week, so just trying to make the most of not having a child. Not make the most of it, but utilising the time that we would normally spend at home with Jack after school, just to get some extra work done on the boat. Clean up, get rid of some of the scrap metal. Um, ready to, we'll put it in the trailer, ready to take to the scrapyard. Look at that. All that has been cut out with Melody. Which is pretty cool. But it's all gone. That's little job number one done. And we're on 7.30, so see what else I can squeeze in before I get too tired. It's going to try and start taking these instruments down. Just trying to find something to get on there so I can actually get a bit of purchase and twist it. It doesn't want to move. Apparently might all be watching this going, no, you don't undo that, you don't do it like this. But this is definitely going to be a process of trial and error. Either way, I've marked these, I've labelled which one it's come from. Taking those out did nothing. I'm wondering actually, does the back even need to come off? Or does it need just shipping out. There you go, none of those screws needed undoing. Ah, lesson learned. If you can see that, probably not the smartest move at eight o'clock at night, putting a hole, a big rusty hole in our boat. I think some of this, this is obviously going to, in fact that's one down. Good news is though, in discovering that, everything else, the others should, famous last words, come out a lot quicker. So this bunch here correspond to these here. And this is, what is it? That one's the depth sounder. So I'm gonna call it D. D1 to D1. I'm definitely gonna be watching this back because Andy's gonna go, where did those go? Why did you cut those there and why did you write that there? So as long as it makes sense on camera, then hopefully... I'll bash this out with my trusty screwdriver because I can't be bothered to find any tools. wind. I'm um, cutting them all so they can't touch but before I turn the batteries back on I'm gonna go and pop some insulation tape around the end of these. 
Hopefully this one here will just pop out. It's actually taking half the boat with it. Last one to come out. This one looks the most complicated. This is the the speed. This one's the speed. So what we need to know is that W5 joins S6. I should have done. Was taking a quick photo of the last three. this one out and hopefully my little jumble of notes kind of makes sense. I'm just going to carefully, carefully, because I'm doing it on the table. And I will say that this, I'm cutting these just to patch over the holes. They are far from square and this is definitely the wrong blade to be cutting them with. Right, let's go sailing. <laughs> Please don't judge me on my very, very bodger. But it should stop the water getting in. Four new windows. And the key is to cut these into perfect squares, which you can see. And always make sure your surfaces are nice and clean before you put them on. If in doubt, use some tape. Have a quick clean up, make a cup of tea and chill out for the evening, I think. It's just gone half past nine um, and I have got to go to work tomorrow, so I should probably stop now. Um, but that's a couple of jobs completed. I'm pretty pleased with that considering I didn't get here till about half six. And I've put some new windows in. Yeah. Well. There was two Ys that have come out of S, that S4 section. Okay. There was a lot of So we've got three reds going in there. I need to just draw this out later. It's too... Give me a minute, I'll just draw the whole thing out again. So port, side. We're gonna to have to do it in two sections because well. the seat tapers back in slightly that way. Right, yeah.
It's on the lip of the other. It's kind of stuck on a little ledge there. Yeah. Push really hard on. Just made a template for this, um, but I'm gonna wait till Andy's back. He can draw around it because I don't want that responsibility. I don't know. So down that red line and down there is the important bit, isn't it? This top corner here, yeah. push it out towards me. Uh, in fact, push the whole end out. Okay. What we need to do now, you see, is get is lever that up with a screwdriver from to, to pop it in position. It's always the way. You have this screwdriver, and I want you to put it in underneath the panel like that, mm -hmm. and lever this up. And we'll do it as a test fit, and we'll stop and come out, and we'll plug the welder back in, and then we'll do it again to tack it in place. Push, push towards me, because I, I can't pull it out. No. There you go, that's where it needs to be. Right. Now can we hold it there while I tack that corner? I'll try. I'll have to get the welder. Yeah. Right, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. That's good in the middle. Okay. And, and I'm going to tack along there now. So mask down. No. I don't know what's happened this episode, we've not really done any talking to camera at all, but we've managed to get a seat front in that side, seat front in this side, we're now doing a seat front at the aft end of that side. Uh, we won't have enough steel to do the starboard side unfortunately. Not today. Not today. Um, we won't have enough gas to seam weld the mill, but at least we're getting stuff tacked in place. and. Um, and then we can seam weld them next time. We're finding the best way to make these panels rather than to take measurements. I mean, we're measuring anyway, but it's to just template it with sheet plastic. So um, 
it just means that we can draw around that on the inside um, take it down cut it out copy it on the steel and it's pretty damn close to being perfect you see what I mean How yeah weird. yeah it's weird isn't it Well, this corner's got to be snipped down, hasn't it? Well, this will help a bit. So let's try your idea. I'll weld. Yeah, nice. Really nice. Okay. You, you, need, you can't weld any further now without pushing it in. I know, way. yeah, I know. I'm moved, I've just taken the piece of wood out. I'm moving it along. Slowly getting there, boxing in these seats. You wouldn't believe the amount of work that is going into this. Just literally putting the fronts on these seats today, we did that panel and that panel and this one. And that took 10 hours. The welding's the quick bit. It's the preparation, the cutting, and the fiddling around trying to get bits to fit. That's what takes the time. But it'll be amazing when it's done.